Hey, and welcome to another Coffee and Kilowatts, a weekly dive into EV topics, news, analysis, or whatever else we can find. This week, I just wanted to do a quick one and look at the UK's move to add green stickers to license plates there to identify electric vehicles, and uh, it's going into effect this autumn. So there will be uh, pros and cons, and some people like it, some people are against it. Uh, see if people like the idea of identifying yourself as an electric vehicle. Uh, let's dive in. Cheers. So license plate specific markings for electric vehicles aren't anything new to us, at least here in uh, Massachusetts. They've been uh, in effect since 2012. Uh, the UK move is relatively recent. That's going into uh, effect this fall, 2020. And there were some, you know, murmurings of, I don't really want my EV to be identified. You know, I don't want to feel like I'm advertising it to the world that this is an electric vehicle. Obviously, Tesla owners are the most... Uh, familiar with having their cars either keyed or kind of generally treated a little bit less respectfully. Do we even want to be identifying electric vehicles, making them stand out? And uh, there are some reasons to do it. Um, you know, Massachusetts has a different reason uh, than the UK, but we'll jump into that right now. So the reason the UK gives, as we've said, is uh, to give preferential treatment essentially to the electric vehicle uh, driver. So the, in the city of London, they have uh, what they now call ultra low emission zones. Uh, there's an 80 pound uh, penalty if you're caught in a um, any vehicle essentially, which uh, is doesn't qualify and that's about $100. So that's not something you want to be um, stuck with. So the, the green tag will give people, uh, you know, free reign to go in there because their electric vehicle is not, uh, you know, putting out those emissions, they get the benefit of driving into those spaces, parking in the City of London, uh, driving in the bus lanes is one of the uh, benefits they get. City of London claims that the ULEV zone has uh, helped reduce emissions by about a third in the six months that it's been implemented. So that makes sense, I think. Um, the I guess the pushback against has been if you get that preferential treatment, it's another thing that's putting, you know, EV drivers uh, in the firing line. That's the whole point, is to mark that out as a, another class of driver, essentially who's driving something that deserves this preferential treatment. And whether you agree, you know, with uh, things like ultra low emission zones, congestion charges, whatever else, there is clearly, you know, a tiered system then of uh, putting those, those cars above the others. And And then as we've uh, touched on, there was the safety aspect, you know, there are say that you need certain guidance um, for emergency services and first responders if they're getting to the scene of an accident and it will certainly help them to know if they're dealing with a battery electric vehicle rather than a regular combustion car. Um, but at the same time, there are procedures in place for every different model, you know, and there may there may be some standardization coming in this, but uh, there are, if you look on the Tesla website, for example, there is a guide for each individual model. Um, and so if you're getting to that level of detail, um, maybe you already need to know what the model is. You need to know that it's an electric vehicle that you're going to. But clearly for Massachusetts, that was a big driver in the first place. You know, going back to 2012, way before any standards had been defined, or really there weren't even that many electric vehicles on the road at that point. So they were obviously thinking of it ahead of time. Ontario in uh, Canada, uh, those EVs have green plates as well. So there is precedent here for identifying them. From the safety angle, I think that's where it comes into its own. You know, if there's a clear advantage to having um, first responders and emergency services understand, you know, right from the get-go that that is an electric vehicle, that's fine. If that's what they need to uh, to make it safer, a uh, safer situation, then it kind of the the argument is made. You know. We we talk a lot about not wanting to have uh, charge stations at the front of um, the mall in places that are really priority parking because they'll get iced. You know, people will start to take umbrage at the fact that EVs are uh, in a special kind of status. Obviously, we want to move towards electric vehicles, but is it uh, better to use, you know, um, the carrot or the stick? You know, do we want to get people across uh, to electric vehicles with incentives and uh, a variety of, you know, benefits, education, all of the kind of things that uh, people are using right now? 
or do we want to get it with a stick of, you know, you can't drive in certain zones if you don't have an electric vehicle. This electric vehicle is, you know, going to be allowed to go places that you're not. And uh, even to the extent of banning gasoline vehicles uh, by a certain date, which is coming, you know, that's in a lot of places that's happening. Can't see it happening in the US, but, uh, you know, not, not under current situation. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether we should be identifying electric vehicles. Should it be a very... Um, obvious uh, sign on the registration plate as Massachusetts has done? Should it be more like California's uh, where you get a special sticker? Um, is the UK going the right way with uh, leading with preferential treatment for electric vehicles? And, you know, more long term, do you expect uh, the North American markets to start seeing the same kind of bans on gasoline cars that uh, the UK and the rest of Europe is going with? Um, again, it's uh, it's tougher to see here because there's a pushback against current emission standards and there's a federal versus state level uh, tug of war on that going on right now. But uh, that kind of speaks to the, the end game of, uh, of the electric vehicle adoption and uh, transitioning away from fossil fuel. Let me know in the comments. Always interested to hear your opinions and that's what makes this series what it is. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your coffee and talk to you soon.